And a challenging market like Derby is very important to always keep the attention to detail and the quality to the highest. Tenants, as you know, are expecting uh, high quality, lots of room, uh, because they're being provided with many, many options. So as an investor, as a landlord, uh, I feel, we feel that attention to detail and finishes are super important. I'm going to um, have a, a walkthrough uh, to the kitchen in this uh, six bedroom HMO in Derby. So you can see the level of quality that is required in order to entice tenants at the point of uh, marketing through a spare room or whichever other platform you decide in order for them to, uh, to be wowed and to be interested in making an inquiry for your investment. So let me just uh, turn the camera around and show you what a great looking HMO should look like. Anything less than this, I would advise you to uh, reconsider uh, uh, your, 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 your options, reconsider the, the, the way you are perhaps uh, in investing in, in, in getting things done because it, it's just really tough out there and we want you guys to maximize your earnings and make sure that you get lovely tenants and no voids. Okay, so every building of course will have uh, restrictions uh, whether you're going to be able to, to get a living room uh, in, uh, however many rooms you, th you think that the number is going to actually uh, make sense financially. In this particular house, a six bedroom HMO in Derby, um, our planners thought long and hard about how to provide tenants with adequate uh, um, places to, to gather, to eat, and we come up with this uh, um, layout that we feel very strongly about. Uh, you have your upper cabinets, you got a microwave oven, it all depends on the legislation depending on how many rooms uh, even affects the, 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 the amount of rooms and people and the legislation uh, per area or borough uh, will dictate for instance how many burners you need on your cooker per individuals, how many cabinets per individual, but this is sort of the finish that uh, it's required nowadays for tenants uh, to, to be enticed to, uh, to move into your lovely uh, investment. That's a dishwasher, you got a, a washer and dryer. So just to give an example, I'm just gonna open this fridge here. Okay, American style fridge. So we have got um, six tenants in this house and you can see the shelves, there's three and three. So you got one, two, three, four and five and then the side ones make also a, a, um, the count for a shelf uh, for, for each individual tenant and you got your fridge side you got also your your enough shelves for everybody to, uh, to, to be happy and to put their their food and store their food um, adequately so yeah this is what we feel a HMO should look like. I haven't shown you this side right here. A bit of sitting area, artwork, um, like a paint. Uh, think, think of the, think of the, think of the past as the, uh, the um, magnolia. Uh, never, ever, ever use magnolia. Uh, try to, try to uh, think outside the box and, and sort of uh, uh, choose a, a color scheme that will be. Um, Incenti incentivize the tenants to, to, to want to go home and, and live in your property uh, but I'm sure you all have different ideas on how to paint and decorate. This is only an example of how we feel uh, the finishes of HMO, particularly in the kitchen and living areas, should look like. So I, th I hope these uh, videos uh, were helpful and we'll see you soon.